Welcome back to Bite Size Theory. If you're liking these videos, please click like or subscribe to the channel. Um, that helps me know that you're enjoying the videos. Please comment below any questions or comments you have about the topics. Um, have you come across similar questions in your theory? And if you have any other topics that you'd like to learn about, please let me know and I can make videos about those too. So today's question is all about urban clearway. Um, I'm going to go into it a little bit more and talk about clearways and red routes and double yellow lines um, and effectively just parking rules in general, um, just to expand a little bit. So let's get on with the question first of all. When may you stop on an urban clearway? A. To load and unload goods. B. To ask for directions. C. To use a mobile phone. Or D. To set down and pick up passengers. Now this is quite a tricky question actually because I could plausibly see reasons for all of the answers. So A to load and unload, I could see how people could logically see that's okay. Um, it's not within the rules so you can't but I could see the logic behind it and why maybe you would click that answer. So the idea behind these urban clearways is to keep traffic flowing and to not have too many obstructions. Um, so you can, if you're thinking behind that logic then loading and unloading is going to take longer um, and therefore you're going to be blocking the road for longer and not and, and stop that flow of traffic. So that's why I would maybe discount that. You've got to think, well, why is there an urban clearway? And then work the logic through the answers. Um, to ask for directions, again, you're stopping. You don't know how long it's going to be for. Um, you're blocking the road. Um, it's unnecessary. Um, you, you're better off sort of pulling into a side road where it's not the urban clearway and maybe using Google Maps or something along those lines. Um, to use your mobile phone, well, first of all, well done for, for pulling over to use your mobile phone because um, obviously we're not allowed to use our phones while we're driving. Um, but again, we're blocking this urban clearway. We're, we're holding up traffic. We're reducing that flow of traffic. So it's not an ideal place to do it. Again, we would look for a side road maybe to do that in those situations. So to step, um, the answer is D, to set down and pick up passengers. So there is that special circumstance that you're allowed to do that um, within the rules. Um, again, that's going to be for a very short time because you're stopping, they're getting out and then, and then you're setting off again. Um, so you're not allowed to stop there for any period of time, certainly not for unloading or loading. It is literally to get out of the car, drive off or to get in the car and drive off again. Um, so that's your answer D. Um, so we'll just go into the topic of clearways a little bit more um, so that you've got an idea behind it. So that if you come across any similar questions around clearways um, or urban clearways, then you have a, a better knowledge base. So first of all, we need to be able to spot the signs for clearways. Um, so there are two signs. Um, the first one is going to be a red circle with a cross um, across it. That means it is a permanent clearway. Um, and then you have a red circle with one line across it. That means it is a temporary um, clearway. So that will also be accompanied with some sort of time, um, maybe Monday to Friday, nine to five, uh, maybe just at the weekends, it depends on where it is. Um, so yeah, if it's like in a busy work area, it might be Monday night, Monday to Friday, nine to five. Um, if it's near a football stadium or something, it might be the weekends um, to stop people parking and stopping in those in the in those areas during that peak time of traffic. So similar to urban clearways, you have red routes. Um, you normally find these in big cities, um, and this slight different rule on here it effectively means you can't drop off and pick up passengers. So there's no stopping in with, within red routes apart from for taxis and licensed vehicles. Um, you might find there are parking bays within those in those red routes for people with disabilities um, or unloading or loading, um, but it will be marked what, what those um, bays are for. Again, again, with red routes, watch out for that time zone potentially. Um, so you might have the permanent red route and you might have some that are per, um, certain times or even sometimes you can get times a year. Um, so maybe during the summer months, um, but but not during the winter months. So that's it for Clearways. Um, watch out for those signs, see if you can spot them while you're out driving. Um, if you have any questions or you want any different topics, please let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the video. See you next week.